So we welcome you back to Hockey Day Minnesota presented by United Healthcare. A whole list of notable players that have come out of this exceptional hockey community. And as you saw on that list, Dave Christian was one of them. And he himself is standing by with Jenny Tapped. With that, we go out to the two of them out in War Road. Guys, good to have you on. Katie, thank you so much. Well, the temperature has dropped a bit around here, but we are enjoying this game so much. And Dave, thank you for stopping by. It's so special to have you. I know how important this community is in War Road for you. How proud are you of the way the community has come together to put on this event? Oh, uh, proud doesn't do it justice. It's uh, such a phenomenal feeling. The War Road shows up, and uh, as a kid growing up, every day was hockey day. Uh, would expect nothing less and uh, the whole northern community all the communities of the north showed up for hockey day in Warro today I love that every day is hockey day and that is what it's all about that's what we're celebrating and when we think of the Christian family we do think of War Road hockey your dad Bill who I was so happy to meet yesterday at the coffee shop he and your uncle obviously won a gold medal in the 60s you won a gold medal in the 80s and we just heard from your nephew Brock Nelson who's doing so well so how proud are you of the success your family has had over these years well there, there were big shoes to fill but <laughs> I, I think the best thing about it i never felt any pressure as a kid growing up to do anything in hockey it, uh, they allowed me to uh, fall in love with the game for myself uh and and go through it and i i think uh, it's really looking at it for all the kids in Warro. these high school players there's some little kid watching them today mm -hmm. wanting to be in their shoes same as I did as a kid. I wanted to be Henry Boucher. I wanted yeah. to be Alan Hanksleben, wow. who were playing on the high school team as a young kid, watching them. And it's so true. It's like the the slogan here: "Dare to dream," right? And uh, you you have certainly have to do that. And uh, it just gave me the opportunity to skate and play the game as much as I wanted to, and uh, open up those doors. Those doors of making dreams come true. It's such a special place. I've fallen in love with the community, the free ice time. I feel like I would have been a better hockey player. I needed this in my life. Uh, we pulled so many of these players about Hockey Day and about the moments that inspired them. They all said about 70 players said that Miracle on Ice was their favorite movie and still is. What does it mean to you that that moment in history still lives on and means so much to these young players? It's pretty incredible to think about it, that it had that effect. And, and you know, we've skipped a gen, now it's another, a second generation that uh, is being told the story, a third generation that are experiencing and learning that story. But uh, it's it's pretty incredible to think that it had that kind of impact, that it, lived on, it lives on 44 years later. It lives on, it's inspiring. And you mentioned something that we're gonna have some future hockey stars probably here behind us. Dave, Christian, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy this. Hey, uh, your guys look pretty good right now. They're looking, they are looking good. They 20 minutes to finish and uh, <laughs> get the win. All right, enjoy it. Thank you so much. Katie, we are having a great time and I'm gonna send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, like Dave said, they are looking good, but so is he. How about that scarf? He <laughs> is looking great there. Warroad's own Dave Christian, great to hear from him.